I know what you're thinking. Like, okay, there's a whole bunch of Yorkie puppy hauls on YouTube. Da, 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 da. You want to know what? I know that. You want to know why I know that? Because I've watched just about all of them. <laughs> hey, y'all. My name is T. And today I'd like to do a video for you all. This is my very second YouTube video. And it's the first one with my face on it because... I think I maybe want to switch what I do on YouTube. But since you're here, you might as well check out my last video. is Speed Bill for The Sims 4. Pretty cool game. Not so much now. But it used to be. And um, I liked it a lot then. But today, this video, if you didn't read the title already, I'm pretty sure I put it in the title, is a Yorkie puppy haul. I was thinking about it. I was like, you know... I stream on Twitch sometimes, so I haven't streamed in about three months. So, you know, I think I'm gonna give a crack at YouTube. And um, here we are. Um, I'm gonna do a puppy haul. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so before I get into the full, like, oh, this is all the stuff I got for the dog type situation, I wanna go ahead and give some background information. This is not my first dog um it's not even really my first small dog but it is my the smallest of the dogs that i've had because when i was younger when i was about 12 i think my dad got me a chewini his name is comet he's still alive he lives at my parents house um when i went away for like a trip for school my parents actually put him outside and when i came back they were like, oh, yeah, he's an outside dog now. And I'm like, he's literally seven pounds. Why is he an outside dog? No clue. But I digress. So this is not the first small puppy I've had because most of his puppyhood, he was an inside dog and he was the sweetest little thing. But, you know, whatever. It's not my first small dog. It's not my first dog in general. I've had two dogs recently, Zoe and Remy. They actually both passed away like two weeks apart in October, September and October. Um, that was really hard on me. That kind of, that's what kind of set me in motion to like go ahead and get my dream dog because I don't know if y'all know this, but Yorkies can live to be 15, 16, 17 years old. And the, my childhood dog, he lived to be 17 and he was a much bigger dog and he had virtually no like modern healthcare cause he was an outside like dog out here. So I kind of knew what I was doing. Do think I went a little overboard, but I, I feel like. I know what I'm doing. So I want to go ahead and start by showing, I guess, some collars. Okay. So this is going to be her main like everyday collar. You see, I bought a name tag with her name on it. Her name's going to be Marley. Um, yeah, this is actually what I want to highlight here. This is actually a cat collar. Um, the reason I got cat collars is one, Yorkies are super small. Like even as adult dogs, they're freaking little so definitely as puppies they're going to be really little and the thing with my chewini when he was a puppy he was really little too and you wouldn't know where he was if he didn't have a bell on him not to mention the dog collars that we all found didn't fit but he got stepped on once my dad did step on him he shouldn't have been in the kitchen but whatever he got stepped on we got him a cat collar and that's why i got this six pack on amazon of cat collars they all have a bell and they come in a bunch of colors <laughs> they come in a bunch of colors and i'm really excited about that part she's gonna wear this one on saint patrick's day um because i'm getting her saturday today is thursday and i'm getting her saturday next wednesday is saint patrick's day for me so she's gonna wear that. She's gonna have a little photo shoot. Yeah, it's the photo shoot. So we got all those. These came in the six pack on Amazon, I think for $11.99, which wasn't too bad just because I like the flower on them. Cause you can get these from Dollar, you can get cat collars from Dollar Tree, but they don't have flowers on them. And these, this was cute. This one actually came from Shein or Sheen or however you say it. I say Shein. Um, I don't, it's a little bit bigger than the other ones I got. And it, it's also a buckle one. Because the ones I got on Amazon, I know the jingling is probably super annoying. They're breakaway because Yorkies have really weak tracheas. So it's possible if you connect a leash to their collar, you can collapse their trachea. And that's a major medical issue that I don't want to inflict upon my dog. 
So, hence why we move on to harnesses. This one is going to probably be the harness I take with me to go pick her up just because it's the smallest one that I have. Again, it's a cat harness, but it's because they're so freaking little that I don't think this is going to fit. And this is an extra small. This is an extra small. I got it from Shein. I don't think it's going to fit, but it'll fit her when she's bigger. I, I do know it's going to fit her when she's bigger, but I don't think it's going to fit her now. So that's why I got those two harnesses. Then I also, I have this bigger one but i really like the design of it i also got it from shein and it has the clip on it but to put it on you just stick their arms in it stick her arms in it and velcro it so velcro like that boom then you extra safe with the click and it's also i don't know if the flash is showing it or not but it's got reflective material on it and i also got this one from shein i think it'll be for when she's bigger too because again Puppy's going to be really small. We'll see, though. This is as, as small as the harness gets. Um, I got her this for when she's in my car. You plug it. Excuse me. Sorry. You buckle it right into the seat belt buckle. <laughs> and you connect this part to, you, you know, not their collar because trachea. You connect it to their harness and they won't be bouncing all around your car like my aunt's dog rides on her shoulder like a parrot in the car so hence why i got this not gonna have my baby going through the windshield if some something happened just saying then i also got another one this is for the car probably when she gets a little bigger and doesn't need to be like right next to me for me to reach out and be like oh my god but and i'll probably take this one with me when we go pick her up just because i'm gonna be in the seat and she's gonna be on my lap but i can put this i can hook it in I don't know why I want to demonstrate on my head. But you hook it around the headrest and then they got this little roamy area. But even if they, if you, if you have a wreck or something, it keeps them from, you know, busting through your windshield. So I have that. And then this leash came with that plaid harness I showed you that I like with the Velcro. This leash came with the sparkly blinged out harness that I showed you. And this leash, of course, goes with cat collar, cat harness that I showed you. But, you know, it is what it is. And then I also had this one. This is something I actually had for my bigger dog. And it's going to work. Um, I don't know how strong the puppy is, though. I'm, I'm thinking puppy not going to be strong enough to pull this out when I first get her. But maybe by the time she's full grown, um, the breeder said she should be less than five and a half pounds full grown. So she might be able to pull this. I don't know. I might have to get another one. My mama gave me this one. And I bet she got some more at home. So if I need to get a smaller one, which I probably will, I can just get it from my mama's house. <laughs> but that's that. Um, This shirt I got from Shein. It's pink dog um she's not gonna be able to fit this i don't know if she's ever gonna be able to fit this to be completely honest again i haven't been around a yorkie for real for real but i've been around small dogs and i don't i feel like this is about the size of i think this would be big on my chawini at my parents house so i don't think it's gonna fit the yorkie but i got it and it's cute and if she can't fit it i'll give it to her cousin auntie my aunt has a puppy her name's tutu so i'll give it i'll give it to tutu Tutu will be able to fit it. She's a Chihuahua. So I think she's going to be a little bigger than my Yorkie, but not by much because she was the runt. And then this I actually got from Goodwill today when I was looking for something completely different. I was looking for a bag that's going to be her suitcase. That's going to be Marley's suitcase. And I found this and I don't know if they have these in other places, but one of the Goodwills in my city, they charge you by the pound. They just charge you by the weight of whatever you get. So I got this and this blanket that i was going to show you it's actually a handmade it's a mermaid tail i didn't realize that so i got home but it's a mermaid tail blanket and this is going to be one of her blankets as well as this bag here i got the little vest jacket the bag and the blanket for three dollars so they were a dollar each not bad to me um it's a handmade freaking blanket that's about it for like travel you know do what it do type stuff if we move on to you know 
grooming because you know yorkies basically have well not basically they don't really have fur they have hair more so so i bought this little rough and rufus rough and rufus <laughs> rough and rufus um little set um i got it in teal mainly because teal kind of matches my furniture not really but it's better than having pink in here because i don't have anything else pink in this room i have a lot of teals and blues just because you know i like blue sometimes this is a slicker brush you press this button here and click it in the spade into place and it comes out it has little pins has little plastic tips over the metal so you don't scratch your dog to death although you still can't scratch the dog with it and when you're done you click the button and all the hair if there's any hair on it you can just wipe it off and it also comes with this comb which this lady i follow i think her her youtube name is megan graham she actually does a live stream of grooming her yorkies every day she uses a, br a brush like this but it's shorter and the bristles are closer together so i'll probably end up getting another one of these but it did come with the brush as well as these nail clippers. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I have a nail grinder from when I had my bigger dog that passed away. I'm probably going to use that. But this is nice, I guess. These kind of scare me. So, probably won't end up using it. But but I got it. I got them. I got them. I can use them if I so choose. Um. So, yeah, there's that. And then I also just got these regular people brush and comb from dollar tree she gonna get professionally groomed when she get bigger and get all her shots and stuff so i ain't really tripping on that part but to go along with the whole hair thing i did get some rubber bands just in case i don't i've seen pictures of her but i don't know like exactly how long her hair is i'm not sure if it's long enough right now to put it in a ponytail but eventually it will be of course and i have those for that I'm not gonna do them tight or anything but i do have those and as far as hair products, hair slash fur products go, I have this JP, John Paul Pet, John Paul. Um, it's a lavender mint detangling spray. So I have that. Um, it's a little strong. I do like lavender and I do like mint, which is why I got this scent. Did not know how strong it was going to be, but I got it. And it was like four, five, six, seven dollars. I don't know. But I'm going to use it. But it's going to be very strong. Hence why I got this lighter kind of version. This was $3 from Five and Below. It's Wags and Wiggles Smooth Detangling Spray. In the scent Juicy Apricot. Apricot. But I was driving around today with it as I went to a whole bunch of other stores. And I spilled a good portion of it. So like this much is already gone. But of course it's going to get used. I can always go buy some more if I like this one better than this one. Which I do like the smell of this one better. It's a lot more mild. But I have two detangling sprays. I think I'm going to take this one with me. So like she's two hours away. So on the way back I'm probably going to work on detangling her. Because I don't know what she got going on at the breeder house. I know she's still with her mama. She's the last puppy there. And she's patiently waiting on me to come get her. And... <laughs> yeah so i want to make sure okay you're gonna be pampered on the way back sis so i got that and then the shampoo i'm just gonna be using for the first bath or whatever it's gonna be burt's bees for puppies tearless apparently this is pronounced tearless as in it's not tearing the strands of hair slash fur or whatever i don't know how true that is but i saw it on something that i read at one point in time it's not tearless it's tearless it's about the hair not about getting it in your eyes you won't cry but yeah, um, that's pretty much, pretty much everybody used this. And I, and I heard that it doesn't have a scent, which is why I got the scented detangling spray. And I also got this because, let me pop it out so y'all can see what it is. This is going to be her bathtub because, I don't know about y'all, but uh, I'm not one of those people that will wash my dog in the kitchen sink. Some people do that, and I ain't, if that's you, I, you do you, that's your house, that's your kitchen. Don't tell me that if I come to your house trying to eat some food. But for me, as for me in my house, serving the Lord, I'm not washing my dog in the kitchen sink. Now, I wash her in this, over the kitchen sink, maybe. That's only because the kitchen got a sprayer, but I got a sprayer in my shower. 
both my showers so we probably gonna be doing it in that but you know and it's got a little plug so you can let all the water out in case you have it like over a sink or something it was really nice and i just i don't know it's it'll be easier to have it in something high but also flat because you know bathroom sinks have that curve to them so your dog is like steadily trying to climb out and doing the most this is nice and flat flat surface they can stand still be still hopefully get her bath and get going now what i did not buy were special dog towels just because i have a bunch of regular towels and i have two bright green towels that don't match my bathroom at all but they were really good deals so i got them and i used them for my other dog for my previous dogs when i would bathe them so i use the towel on them but it's only them two green towels and i know the green towels don't belong also got some up and up fresh clean cloth like baby wipes um to use for like wiping off the gunk on her, her eyes wiping her bottom when she like poops if she poops on her pee pad or something and i catch it or stuff like that and the reason i got actual baby wipes is because again i don't know if a lot of people know this but certain things cost more based on how they're marketed so like i got i think it was like 800 baby wipes for 13 dollars 800 because it's 100 in this pack and it was eight packs or nine packs i don't know i can use them for myself i use them for myself too the reason i got actual baby wipes instead of getting dog wipes is because it's more cost effective to get actual baby wipes because let me just show you for an example this is something that i got my aunt because i was in target and she told me to go down the dog out but this is 50 wipes 50 dog wipes they're in little little packages you rip them open like the moist towelette they give you when you're eating ribs at a restaurant so i'm like i can just get some regular 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 baby wipes if they good enough for some babies i know they're good enough for a puppy i just want to put that out there not like hair products and stuff like that although i did get the brush and comb but like you don't need specially branded dog wipes when you can get some regular regular baby wipes that do the same thing and um yeah that's 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 it for the hair and cleaning and beauty and stuff. I have this Out Pet Care OxyFast Stain and Odor Remover. This is what I used when I was trying to house train our Chewini at my parents' house, Comet. Um, I actually like how it smells, so might just spray it on the carpet every now and then anyway. But Yorkies are small. They don't pee that. They pee often, but they don't pee that much. So I don't think it's going to be staining and odorizing. And I got wood floors. I do have a really big carpet in this room that I'm in, my den. But it'll be fine. Um, these, This is one of her pee pads. It is by Glad. I don't quote me. I think it's by Glad. It's a charcoal one. I didn't get the box. The box is actually in my bathroom. But I am going to be pee pad training her, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. I got some fake grass in case she doesn't take to the pee pad. Because I think she's been going outside of the breeder. I don't know if I want her outside here. So I got the fake grass. Da, 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 da. So there's that. And now we're going to move on to like her playpen I have over here. You probably can't see it in this frame. I'll move the camera over and show you that and some of her toys. Okay, so now... Y'all, this is her playpen. It's by Iris. Amazon said it was going to be delivered on like Tuesday. It didn't get delivered until like a Sunday or a Monday or something. It took like a week. And I have Prime. So needless to say, I was a little upset. But in here, hold on, let me crawl across the floor. I have her food and water bowls. Oh, it's a little, it's a little dusty. But I have it. It came with this silicone mat. It's a little dusty, but silicone mat. And it came with these two stainless steel bowls. I've heard that stainless steel is better than like plastic because they don't scratch and you don't have room for like bacteria to get in there or anything. And then in here, I have her bed. It's actually, okay, don't judge me here. It's actually a guinea pig bed, <laughs> but this guinea pig bed was 
13 dollars, and it is so freaking cute and it's like closed in so it feels kind of like a den type thing going on and i like it this pillow is removable so you can take it out wash it do what you gotta do put it back in here and boom she got her little little sleep hook i think it's nice um my mom looked at me a little crazy when i'm like yeah i got her a guinea pig bed but she's not gonna be big like she's gonna be able to fit in this hopefully she's the size i'm hoping she'll be able to fit into this well into her adulthood but even if she can only fit it for like the first six seven months i still feel like i got my 12 11 13 dollars worth um also in here i have this bin that i got from dollar tree don't worry about the toys yet got this bin i got from dollar tree just put it in there i like that the sides are lowered so she can go in and get her toys do what she gotta do this toy is i forgot whose name brand is but i liked it because it's a t and my name is t um and it kind of matches her floor in there i don't know if you can see but i put contact paper on my wood floors let's see i'll tilt it down some i put contact paper on my wood floors just in case she does pee she doesn't like mess up my floors so yeah and i got this one toy i got this from dollar tree um it's a little it's gonna be a little big for her because i had this i had one of these for my bigger puppy remy and you know uh that'll be fine i got this from shein just because it was cute it's cat toy probably this came in a i have a bar well i had i right before my dogs passed away i had set up a bark box subscription for six months so it was a really really rough time for me but when they would get when before i got the first delivery i was like you know what you're gonna take this deep breath you're gonna go in there it was like two or three days before the cutoff date and i was like you know you want your next dog to be a yorkie just go ahead switch it to a small size process your grief whenever you're done grieving you will get a dog and it will be a small dog and it'll be everything you ever dreamed of and that's what i did and now I have a bunch of small toys that came from BarkBox. This was actually in the November BarkBox because it's um, it's Thanksgiving themed. And this is a Christmas themed toy. And I got this from, I actually don't know where I got this from. I, don't, I know I didn't come in a BarkBox, so no clue where I got it from. But um, this also came in the BarkBox. I think this was like the September, no, the, I did October november december this was probably november given that it's apple i don't know you go apple picking in november or something like that i guess and um i got that it doesn't make any noise but it's a little ball and it's it's the right size i think and um this is the fake grass that i was talking about again not entirely sure how this is gonna go i'm just dreading like cleaning poop off of this and making sure it doesn't smell like pee pee because i need to drill some more holes in it i don't uh, basically i don't know if the gra fake grass is gonna work but i do have enough pee pads that if the fake grass I, which there's a pee pad under the fake grass anyway so if this doesn't work i'm not really tripping on it i just feel like okay maybe she'll be more inclined to go on the grass type feeling than a pee pad but if she go on the pee pad that's fine with me hey i can't send the grass back so if y'all want fake grass and need fake grass for anything now i want to show y'all the rest of the um the bark box stuff that i got i got this snoopy around christmas the mouse went with the um whenever i got the apple ball this was thanksgiving probably this was the bag that the apples came apple balls came in and then i have i don't know why this was even in there but i have another collar apparently got this one from dollar tree and um uh, i don't know if y'all know bark box sends you like two packs of snacks in every box so i got six months worth of boxes so i have six months worth of treats it's gonna last for a minute none of them expire for like two years so I, I think we'll use all of them before they expire or anything yeah see this is 2022 i mean it's 2021 but like we gotta use this before may i feel like we can do that may 2022 we can do that that's over a year 
I'm going to be really on it with training with this dog. Just because, like I was saying, my bigger dog, she was so, so smart. Zoe, I got her from the shelter. She was so, so smart. And even when I was trying to, like, train Remy, the small, the puppy of the two dogs that I had, she was helpful with Remy. She was, like, showing Remy the rope, showing Remy where she was supposed to go, what she was supposed to do. And I just, I really want another smart dog. I got a clicker. I got this clicker probably from Amazon. I don't really know. Probably. Given that it's not open, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I got it from Amazon. And you just, and they know they did something good. You give them a treat, move on. And I really like this one because a lot of the clickers that I know, they're super loud. And this one's nice. not soft, quiet. It's not gonna scare my dog. Um, The food, I just put it in one of these containers. See how I'm doing teal everything? <laughs> My mom's like, why are you getting all this blue stuff and you're having a girl dog? And I'm like, well, it'll match the room better. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I got this today. It's actually a cereal thing from Walmart. It was $4. Don't go on Amazon looking for one because Amazon was charging $7 for the exact same thing and it wasn't in a color that matched my den. So if you're looking for one of these, Go to Walmart. Granted, it was a five pound bag of dog food and I did need to use about this much of another one because you don't want to fill it all the way to the top. Fill the other one up to here and I still got this much and it was only a five pound bag of dog food. So you will need two, but you will still gonna need two of the $7 ones from Amazon. So yeah, I got this. The food I have on is the Perina pro plan puppy it's actually got a yorkie on the bag i don't remember how much this five pound bag cost but i think it might have been like 15 20 dollars but you gotta factor in yorkies are super small this is not the only food i have but i have some rachel ray nutrish i used to give these to my bigger dog she absolutely loved the this one's a chicken it's the chicken paw pie like chicken pot pie <laughs> but she loved the chicken pot pie and i didn't get the like variety pack for her but i saw it and i want to try that with marley um this is chicken mud balls but y'all it's got pasta in it it's got i don't know if you can see it but there are pasta noodles in this there's carrots there's chicken there are pasta noodles in there and then this is beef stroganoff which also has pasta noodles do y'all know how much dogs love pasta and i'm glad i found some dog food with pasta in it i thought i had got more stuff than that but y'all i think that's it except for like oh i'm gonna I, hopefully i'll make some more youtube videos oh i also got this from this is happy st patrick's day excuse me um but i got this from goodwill too so that means I got four things for three dollars but i got this and this green easter basket and some little decorations because i'm gonna do her a photo shoot it'll just be like a little welcome home kind of okay saint patrick's day I, i've had I, on wednesday on saint patrick's day i'll be didn't have her for three three days three full days so i want to do a little photo shoot to introduce everybody to her I already kind of, I bought this sign on Amazon, but I already kind of started doing it. But now that I'm thinking I'm not going to do it on like her first day home, I'm going to do it on her third or so day home just because got things I've destroyed. Favorite toys. I love this, like stuff like that. I won't know those on her first day home. So I think I'm going to change this like top part to kind of be more Irish kind of St. Patrick's Day kind of thing going on. So I'm probably going to do that once I finish up this video. And I also got her Easter stuff. Oh, dang it. I love her shirt. I got her Easter shirt. I don't know if she's going to be able to fit it. Again, it's an extra small, and it's probably too damn big. But we're going to go with it. I got her some Easter toys. The only reason these are out of the box, these are actually branded by Peeps, like the Marshmallow Peeps people. They make dog toys that look like Peeps. And the shirt that I got her says, Chilling with my Peeps. And it's going to be so cute. I got this Easter basket for her to go in. I got two little bunnies to go in there with her. This is what she'll sit on. And then just some Easter eggs to throw around. And yeah, that's going to be her Easter photo shoot. I may do a YouTube video on how I did an at-home photo shoot for my dog. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to try and get back into Twitch. I'm going to try and get consistent with YouTube. 
Because baby, you ain't trying to be all on the internet, famous, whatnot, whatnot, woo, woo. But Marley, my Marley is gonna be a star. I don't want to be that. Oh my god, I have a Yorkie. I'm fabulous type person. I just want to be like, okay, I need to put videos out there about Yorkies because, like I said, I've watched almost every video on YouTube that I could find about getting stuff for a Yorkie, having a Yorkie, and such and such and such. So there's not that many videos out there which i completely understand because yorkies are one expensive two hard to get even if you have the money for it and they are very 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 hard to get yeah I think i'm gonna start ending my youtube videos how i end my twitch videos so clear my throat flip my hair do what i gotta do get comfy it's been real and it's been nice, but it ain't been real nice, but it has. So I appreciate each and every one of y'all for watching this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe button. And be sure to turn on your notifications. I'm going to try to vlog the day I go get her. We're going to see how that goes. Don't know how well it's going to work out, but that's what that's what my goal is. We're going to try and vlog that. But thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. Bye.